Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. This is about the modifications that we have done for the quadcopter and how people have noted the issues about uh, low GPS signal or no GPS signal once the recording is turned on in the, uh, the Phantom uh, Vision 2. And I believe we have found the ultimate fix for that is a little bit um, involved. Um, but what it does is, within the picture that you're seeing here, it shields the small flat cable that is up at the top of the screen and then also shields the camera connection cables that come around from underneath that come out of the, um, the camera and the gimbal and up into the body of the, um, of the quadcopter. Uh, prior to doing this, we had shielded the top of the unit, as others have done and shown on YouTube, and that produced marginal results. Um, it did help, and uh, but we were noticing that we were still getting down to four and five satellites when in the uh, 60 frames mode. Um, after disassembling everything and, and pulling that cable out, shielding it with the copper and then wrapping it in Kapton tape, the unit went back together and fired up and we were able to immediately lock nine satellites very, very quickly, put the thing into record mode and did not get one satellite drop whatsoever based on this upgrade. Uh, we noticed that when we were flying and got the unit up to about 12 feet, maybe up to 20 feet, we did get 12 satellites locked onto the unit. And we feel that this fix, that if you want to undertake it and pull that flat cable out between the camera and the, uh, the RF transmitter there and also these other boards, that, um, that will fix the GPS problems. It takes a couple hours to do, uh, but I think it's very well worth the, um, the work.